I did not upload a video last week. I had pre-shot some videos and then I lost the footage. Oh my god, I know. I don't know why this keeps happening to me, but it's Monday and you know what happens on Mondays. Woo! Look at this! <laughs> so this... Oops. <laughs> so this is what we're doing today. Oh, This is what we're doing today. Why am I holding it like it's a child? So today I'm going to show you how I made some cool, kick-ass, nice designs for a monochrome effect in my house. I really hated the, the colors that my pillows came in, so I wanted to give them new life. So I decided to make some pillowcases from old bed sheets that I had. Yes, I am about that life. And then I wanted all of them to be monochrome, so I made a couple of designs. You can see there's one over here, one over here. You can see that. So if you want to write something cool on a pillowcase, I'll show you how to do it. And then we also have this cool design. So if you want to know how we did all this, if you'd like to see and find out how we did all this, just let's go do this. Yeah. Yo, so let's get this show on the road. So we, of course I have my black paint because I'm going for a monochrome effect. Then I used a foam board to make sure that the paint will not sip into the other side. And I put that in between the pillowcase as usual this is just to protect the other side and then of course i had some gloves because why do you have gloves <laughs> yeah of course to protect your hands you don't want to have sticky fingers especially when you're touching this fabric okay so for the first one i went with this brush it's an old makeup brush that i don't use anymore because i went with it because of the size of the polka dots i wanted that particular size so find whatever you can <laughs> whatever size of a dot you'd like so find something in your house again remember, we're trying not to spend money yeah so i went with this and then i used a brush to just apply the paint to the back and then there you go stamp it on i tried to uh, insert the brush thingy like my polka dot maker thing <laughs> into the paint but then it was picking a lot of paint so that's why i prefer to do the brush ray so just do this and then fill them up as much as you want space them out as much as you want and at the end of it you'll be left with some pretty looking polka dots on a pillowcase so you don't want huge gaps or if you want a pattern if you want straight lines you can do whatever you want it's super easy like just see how fast that one was so for the second one again the drill is the same make sure you put the foam board between the two parts, the two sides of the pillowcase that where the paint does not drip, does not seep to the other side. And then with this one, I wanted to go with um, a word. I wanted to write something on it. So I got Nick, there is Nick, my KYM, to um, do the writing for me. I think he does this better than I do. And then I went in with the paint. I think I do that better than he does just saying <laughs> so we wanted to write the word relax because we have some boards um some wooden boards as you enter our house that say relax and wind get naked so we wanted to almost reflect the same so we went to the same relax and then i went in this one i had to try a couple of things at first i tried with a mac this tiny mac pen but then i would dip it in the paint but then that was taking too long and it wasn't picking enough paint then i decided to use a small brush which used to be my eyeliner brush i have another one so it's okay i'm not going to use this for my eyes anymore and then this worked so much better and then now just trace over it over the chalk and that's it you will be left with some beautiful just follow the lines that's the beauty of the chalk because you can rub it off and it will come off once you clean the pillowcase so once you like the design of the word the way you've written it just go in with that brush with your paint and just write over the word that's what i did in there added a smiley face on the side some dots on the side just to give it a bit more pizzazz i like that word i don't know why i like that word but you get what i mean right i also did the same with the word smile Uh, 
Now for this one, I went with this um, nail file thing that I had. I split it in two because, well, Nick was going to help me, so. <laughs> the process is the same, just use a brush, apply the paint because you don't want too much and you don't want it to keep sliding off. And then just make a pattern. This one, we, I tried so hard, even Nick, we both tried so hard to try and see if we could do a straight line. But it wasn't really working, so we said, you know what, at least they're squares almost square rectangle shapes so they'll be different so we just went in the way it was so we, we just wanted to fill in the gaps just to see where we wanted to place it so just do the same it doesn't have to be perfect it actually looks really cool the way it is For this one, I went, yeah, I know, those are weird. So one of them is a tissue paper roll. The other one was from um, my sandpaper that ran out. So I wanted to do circles and my idea was, at first I wanted to have the two different sizes. But then when I went with this particular one, I liked the size and I was like, hmm, I think I'll keep it. And so I did. So the easiest thing is just to use a brush and put the paint on it, on the lip of the mouth the lip or the mouth of the rolling paper and then just stump it in there so technically what you're doing you're just stumping things so the thing that takes time here is the fact that you have to keep applying the paint and it can be exhausting but trust me the results are amazing and worth it so with this one again just went um i wanted the circles to overlap but i didn't know how so i was just testing it out as I want and again results are amazeballs what? did you love my oops <laughs> did you love my pillows because I am so in love with them like these pillows have inspired a lot and by a lot I mean after making the pillows we ended up waking up the next morning and deciding that we wanted to rearrange the living room and so we did. So if you like this DIY and you would want more please give this one a thumbs up that way I will know and I will make more of its kind. If you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I hope I'll see you on Thursday for a vlog and FYI this time now you're getting a double dose so be on the lookout for that and on Monday for another DIY. That's all I have for today and I hope I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!